All right, now we're going to use what we just learned about algebra tiles to find the total area for this drawing over here and to find the total area of this drawing over here. The instructions say, write at least two different algebraic expressions for the total area uh, area of each drawing, okay? Now, in order to do this, we need to remember the areas of each of these tiles. And it'll be helpful for us to memorize the names for each of these tiles, okay? So like, for example, see this tiny square tile over here? If you remember, the area of this was one. And in fact, all of these tiles also have an area of one, okay? So remember, these are, these are one tiles, okay? What did we call these tiles? Okay, if you go back to your notes, we, you might remember that these were called X tiles, okay? We have a bunch of one tiles and we have a bunch of X tiles. And now, since we're trying to find the area for all of these together, how do we write this as an algebraic expression for the area? There are many ways to do this. So for example, one way to do it is just to say 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus x plus x, okay? Or there's another simpler expression that we can write, okay? What if we said, let's put together all of these ones? Well, if we put together these ones, we would have three, okay? Well, what if we put together these x's, okay? What if we put together these x's? Well, then we would have 2x. But I don't like saying 2x. I like to say two groups of x, okay? So this is one expression, and here's another expression, 3 plus two groups of x. Okay, so this is something that you'll get to write when we pause the video in a bit. Okay, um, actually, <laughs> let's do this. Why don't we pause the video right now? Because what I would like you to do is I want you to go ahead and figure out what are the names of these tiles or what, are, what is the area of each of these tiles. Okay, so go, you want to label them like these. Okay. So write down the names of the tiles on here for number two. And then see if you can write two expressions, at least two expressions, for the area for this whole thing. So we're going to pause the video. We're going to let you try number two. And then after, after maybe a minute or two, we'll continue this video and we'll see if your answers are close to mine or didn't exactly match mine. So we'll pause, sorry, we'll pause right here and we'll continue this video after you've all tried number two. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out the answer, figure out the expression for number two. Again, we need the area of this, so um, Oh, I forgot to show you that this was another way to uh, to answer number one, okay? Um, and again, it doesn't matter the order because uh, when we're talking about addition, you can change the order around. Anyway, let's talk about number two. So this is an x tile. This is an x squared tile. This is an x tile right here. This is an, another x squared tile, an x tile, and a one tile, okay? Now... Let's put this together to show the total area of this thing, okay? So one way to write it is just to go in order and just say this is x plus x squared plus x plus x squared plus x plus 1, okay? That's one way to write it. Well, what if we made it a little more simpler, okay? What if we simplified this expression? Um, one way to the, that I thought about it is to, why don't we put the x's together? Here's one x, here's two groups of x's, here's three x's together. So three groups of x plus how many x squared tiles do I have? Well, I have two of them. So I have two groups of x squared plus a one, okay, since there's only one. So three groups of x plus two groups of x squared plus one, okay? 
Another way to write this, again, there's many answers for this, is we can start with the 1 plus 2 groups of x squared plus 3 groups of x. You might have different answers from these, okay, and that's okay as long as it matches with this um, diagram, this drawing, okay? Um, so that's it for area. And so you'll have a chance right now to practice problems A through H on the back. And I'll see you in the next video because in the next video we'll be talking about perimeter for algebra tiles.